it's quite overwhelming for someone from a remote area to leave their family, their culture, their connection mm. to country and come into a foreign space where the, there's language difficulties and things. So having just somebody that they can trust and go to and have questions answered and um, help them to know where to go to access support. Because sometimes when we see people coming in at the end, they go, oh, I didn't know about this service or that That's service. Right. I would say most definitely we need a, a government ongoing a commitment, a strong commitment about helping Aboriginal people going through cancer treatment and providing this type of support that we've, we've been highlighting for 10 years about getting a cancer, Aboriginal cancer coordinators, Aboriginal people within the hospitals and looking at an Aboriginal transitional program from hospital to home so that the patient uh, can access all the information, access all the services and have a have an equal uh, pathway to a fair treatment and to and, and to a good result. Yeah, unfortunately we're seeing most of the disparities in the first year, people, um, cancer related mortality happening within the first year of it's diagnosis and mm. people not getting into the system till it's late, staged. Um, and then there's not that much people can do and that contributes to this um, attitude in the community that the hospital can't help when they can. For all of the, the uh, medical system is to, is to have some cultural uh, awareness. Uh, I mean, there's other ethnic groups all over the world. There's other indigenous people all over the world. And as we, we point out, we went to this World Indigenous Conference. We're all saying the same thing. We need a look in at the medical system and we need a cultural look in. Uh, you know, the window of opportunity is now because uh, we're giving you all the information, all the data. What we're saying is, come on governments, local and federal governments, give it a policy that's an ongoing commitment and we want continuity around this. And, and for the role that service providers could play in that, there's a few key roles. One is to support those policies and advocate for those policies to go through but one of the things that they can do personally is get some cultural competency mm. training, listen yeah. to Aboriginal people, listen to the, and support the workforce who are already there and yeah. not put everything on them to do because they're there to support the patient but um, people who aren't Aboriginal can also support the patient mm. just having advice from those people when they are unsure about something.